Hey y'all, what's going on Facebook? That man's a little drunk. I'm fucking up this motherfucking Moet. Rose baby. You know what I'm saying? Eating on some good ass pizza. Nobody to celebrate with. Let me tell you how they did your boy today, right? Man, my boss. This nigga told me he had too many workers today. I said, damn. I thought I was getting fired. But I wasn't. But you know we got to have a plan B. So I put it out there. Let us sign a lucrative deal. Man, an exclusive contract with man. Your boy gonna be straight for a long time. I went to work for myself. Hey, the numbers they talking, your boy gonna be straight. So if my boss wanna let me go, I ain't even tripping. I don't wanna be let go, but I ain't even gonna be tripping because your boy is straight. I know I'm a little buzzed right now. But black men, we got to stand up and be great. We got to celebrate us. And we got to quit letting other people dictate. Damn. We got to quit letting other people dictate on how we going to be great. Get up, man. And make shit popping. Man, I'm always talking about my Uncle Richard, man. But what I'm really really mad to the heart rest in peace up but he was that dude like you never heard about my uncle begging or asking to borrow nothing he was that man he was the go-to man if you needed something you went to holler at uncle richard you know what i'm saying i ain't even talking about just financially but if you need to know something about the streets or just needed help in life you want to holler at your Uncle Rich? That's all I strive to be, something like him. That's my dude, man. I love this dude, man. You know, I hate he gone, but I love my aunt. I'm sitting here drinking, thinking about my aunt. Man, I see my aunt put it in me like, look, don't let nobody control your destiny. You got to get it for yourself. That's what I thought about tonight. Drinking that rose, baby. <laughs> hey, I'm thinking about my Uncle Richard. You know what I'm saying? Hey, this shit is real. Man, my uncle was a go getter. And that's what I strive to be. I don't let no one person detect, tell me how I'm going to live my life. Like you controlling me or something? No, shawty. I get up and go get it. I do what I want to do. Not like I'm going to do it in a criminal way, though. I'm getting it. Man, I'm getting it. But this deal I signed today, man, it's that deal. Your boy going to be straight for a long time. But I just got to get up and go get it. I can't depend on nobody to give it to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to hire a couple more people. And um, it's going to be great. And I'm just so happy that I grew up around go-getters. You know, both of my mamas. And I know y'all be like, this dude got two mamas. Yes! I got two mamas. I got Juanita Pillow, who birthed me, who raised me. She was a go-getter. Didn't take no shit. Did it her way. Then I got Ella Daniels, the cream of the crop, the OG of the hood. Nigga. Woo! That's all I'm saying. Now, I ain't gonna even say woo. I'm gonna say shit. Ella did it her way all her life. 
Them two women, man, showed me how to get up and get it. It don't depend on nobody to give it to you. They did it. They lived their life they way with no regrets. And that's how I'm living, for real. I don't regret no decisions, no actions I made. And you don't see me out here asking, begging nobody for shit. I'm just out here doing the best I can do. I ain't gonna say I'm perfect, but I'm doing the best I can do. Man, I'm getting it. <laughs> Man, life is so good. I just wish I had both my mamas and my Uncle Richard to see me now, man. See the moves I'm making. Hey, let me tell y'all something. On Crandon, I got these three old ladies, right? It was my mama, Ella Daniels. Barbara. Damn. Um, well, forget it. Um, she gonna kill me because I forgot my carrot cake lady name. But let me tell you something. Miss Barbara, like 82 years old, 83 years old. Yesterday we sat on the porch and we just talked. We just talked all day on Crandon. I felt so good that she would just take the time out of her day to spend it with me and drop some knowledge on me. Ooh. We just kicked it. She 82 years old. Woo. And when she be cussing, Y'all just don't know. That shit just made me feel so good. <laughs> Real shit. That shit made me feel so good. She be like, I got a potty mouth. I know it. I love my golden girls over there. I do. I really do. Hey. I'm just drinking. I got, man. See what happened when a brother drinking? And I ain't even drinking nothing hard, but I'm drinking. I'm celebrating me today. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I was thinking, when he said he got too many workers, what was he trying to say? Was he giving me a hint or something? Like, you control what I do? Man, come on. I'm a go-getter. I'm from Robert Taylor, baby. Stateway raised. You know what I mean? We go in for life. We go get it. We go get it. We don't play. I'm just out here today, man. Celebrating me. And I wish more people would celebrate themselves. Quit waiting on somebody to give you a pat on the back. Quit waiting for somebody else to celebrate you. Celebrate yourself. You want, Look. I'm out here at the crib by myself drinking Mo Wet, Rose, baby, and Beggar's Pizza. I don't know about y'all, but I know about me. I feel like. Dose. Rest in peace, Uncle Rich. Man, I hope you can see me, man. I'm just, man, I'm just trying to strive to be like you. All right, y'all.